Plato. Apology. I thought to myself. I am wiser than this man. Neither of us probably knows anything that is really good. But he thinks he has knowledge. When he has not. While I. Having no knowledge. Do not think I have. For to fear death. My friends. Is only to think ourselves wise. Without really being wise. For it is to think that we know what we do not know. For no one knows whether death may not be. The greatest good that can happen to man. The difficulty, my friends. Is not in avoiding death. But in avoiding unrighteousness. For that runs faster than death. My plainness of speech makes them hate me. And what is their hatred? But a proof that I am speaking the truth. Crito. But why? My dear Crito. Should we care about the opinion of the many? Would that the majority could inflict the greatest evils. For they would then be capable of the greatest good. And that would be fine. But now they cannot do either. They cannot make a man either wise or foolish. But they inflict things haphazardly. We should not then think so much of what the majority will say about us. But what he will say who understands justice and injustice. The one, that is, and the truth itself. So that. In the first place. You were wrong to believe we should care for the opinion of the many. About what is just, beautiful, good, and their opposites. Gorgeous. Will not the good man. Who says whatever he says with a view to the best. Speak with a reference to some standard and not at random. Just as all other artists. Whether the painter, the builder, the shipwright. Or any other look all of them to their own work. And do not select and apply at random what they apply. But strive to give a definite form to it. If it were necessary either to do wrong or to suffer it. I should choose to suffer rather than do it. For philosophy, Socrates. If pursued in moderation and at the proper age. Is an elegant accomplishment. But too much philosophy is the ruin of human life. Me no. How can one inquire about what one does not know? And if one already knows it. Why should he inquire about it? We do not learn. And what we call learning. Is only a process of recollection. Virtue is the desire of things honorable. And the power of attaining them. Parmenides. It is impossible to conceive of many. Without one. Just as things in a picture. When viewed from a distance. Appear to be all in one and the same condition and alike. But if with your mind's eye you regard the absolute great. And these many great things in the same way. Will not another great appear beyond. By which all these must appear to be great. Phaedo. It is our duty to select the best and most dependable theory that human intelligence can supply and use it as a raft to ride the seas of life. For there are misanthropists or haters of men. There are also misologists or haters of ideas and both spring from the same cause which is ignorance of the world. The wise man will want to be ever with him who is better than himself. Fay, Idris. Love is a serious mental disease. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Man is a prisoner who has no right to open the door of his prison and run away. A man should wait, and not take his own life until God summons him. Symposium. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. Love is born into every human being. It calls back the halves of our original nature together. It tries to make one out of two and heal the wound of human nature. He whom love touches not walks in darkness. Republic. The heaviest penalty for declining to rule. Is to be ruled by someone inferior to yourself. I am the wisest man alive. For I know one thing. 
and that is that I know nothing. The beginning is the most important part of the work. The object of education is to teach us to love what is beautiful. Bodily exercise, when compulsory, does no harm to the body. But knowledge which is acquired under compulsion, obtains no hold on the mind. Excess of liberty, whether it lies in state or individuals, seems only to pass into excess of slavery. The philosopher whose dealings are with divine order himself, acquires the characteristics of order and divinity. Theotetus. For this feeling of wonder shows that you are a philosopher. Since wonder is the only beginning of philosophy, men is the measure of all things. Of things which are, that they are. And of things which are not, that they are not. But it is not possible. Theodorus. That evil should be destroyed? For there must always be something opposed to the good. Nor is it possible that it should have its seat in heaven. But it must inevitably haunt human life. And prowl about this earth. That is why a man should make all haste to escape from earth to heaven. And escape means becoming as like God as possible. And a man becomes like God when he becomes just and biased with understanding. Sophist. No one should be discouraged. Theotetus. Who can make constant progress. Even though it be slow. When a person supposes that he knows. And does not know. This appears to be the great source of all the errors of the intellect. Timaeus. Pleasure. A most mighty lead to evil. Is there any self-existent fire? And do all those things which we call self-existent exist? Or do only those things which we see? Or in some way perceive through the bodily organs? Truly exist, and nothing whatever besides them? And is all that which we call an intelligible essence? Nothing at all, and only a name? It would be a hard task to discover. The maker and father of this universe of ours. And even if we did find him, it would be impossible to speak of him to everyone. Aristotle. Categories. Expressions which are in no way composite signify substance. Quantity. Quality. Relation. Place. Time. Position. State. Action. Or affection. To sketch my meaning roughly. Examples of substance are man or the horse. Of quantity, such terms as two cubits long or three cubits long. Of quality, such attributes as white, grammatical, double, half, greater, fall under the category of relation. In the marketplace, in the lyceum, under that of place. Yesterday, last year, under that of time. Lying, sitting, are terms indicating position. Shod, armed, state. To lance, to cauterize, action. To be lanced, to be cauterized, affection. On interpretation. Spoken words are the symbols of mental experience. And written words are the symbols of spoken words. By a noun we mean a sound significant by convention which has no reference to time, and of which no part is significant apart from the rest. A verb is that which, in addition to its proper meaning, carries with it the notion of time. Prior analytics. A syllogism is discourse in which certain things being stated, something other than what is stated follows of necessity from their being so. Every Greek is human, every human is mortal. Therefore, every Greek is mortal. If A belongs to every B, and B belongs to every C, A belongs to every C. At least one premise must be universal. At least one premise must be affirmative. If either premise is negative, the conclusion must be negative. Posterior Analytics the kinds of question we ask are as many as the kinds of things which we know. They are in fact four. 
whether the connection of an attribute with a thing is a fact. What is the reason of the connection? Whether the thing exists? What is the nature of the thing? Knowledge of the fact differs from knowledge of the reason for the fact. We may assume the superiority Keteris Haribus, all things being equal. Of the demonstration which derives from fewer postulates or hypotheses. In short from fewer premises. 4. Given that all these are equally well known. Where they are fewer. Knowledge will be more speedily acquired. And that is a desideratum, something desired. The argument implied in our contention that demonstration from fewer assumptions is superior may be set out in universal form. Physics. For my definition of matter is just this. The primary substratum of each thing. From which it comes to be without qualification. And which persists in the result. The necessary in nature then, is plainly what we call by the name of matter, and the changes in it. Both causes must be stated by the physicist, but especially the end. For that is the cause of the matter, not vice versa. And the end is that for the sake of which. And the beginning starts from the definition, or, essence. Since there must always be motion without intermission, there must necessarily be something, one thing or it may be a plurality that first imparts motion and this first movement must be unmoved on generation and corruption for it is the nature of that which is the same and remains in the same state always to produce the same effects so either there will always be coming to be or perishing those whom devotion to abstract discussions has rendered unobservant of the facts, are too ready to dogmatize on the basis of a few observations. On the soul. To attain any assured knowledge about the soul, is one of the most difficult things in the world. In general, we may ask, why has not everything a soul? Since everything either is an element, or is formed out of one or several, or all of the elements, if the soul is moved, the most probable view is that what moves it is sensible things, on the parts of animals. In all things of nature there is something of the marvelous. We should venture on the study of every kind of animal without distaste. For each and all will reveal to us something natural and something beautiful. On the generation of animals, nature flies from the infinite. For the infinite is unending or imperfect. And nature ever seeks an end. Metaphysics. All men by nature desire to know. An indication of this is the delight we take in our senses. For even apart from their usefulness they are loved for themselves. And above all others the sense of sight. For not only with a view to action. But when we are not going to do anything. We prefer sight to almost everything else. The reason is that this, most of all the senses, makes us know and brings to light many differences between things. For it is owing to their wonder that men both now begin and at first began to philosophize. They wondered originally at the obvious difficulties, then advanced little by little, and stated difficulties about the greater matters. For example, about the phenomena of the moon and those of the sun and of the stars. And about the genesis of the universe. And a man who is puzzled and wonders thinks himself ignorant. Whence even the lover of myth is in a sense a lover of wisdom. For the myth is composed of wonders. Therefore since they philosophized order to escape from ignorance. Evidently they were pursuing science in order to know and not for any utilitarian end. If, then, God is always in that good state in which we sometimes are. This compels our wonder. And if in a better, this compels it yet more. And God is in a better state. And life also belongs to God. For the actuality of thought is life. And God is that actuality. 
and God's self-dependent actuality is life most good and eternal. Those who assert that the mathematical sciences say nothing of the beautiful or the good are in error. For these sciences say and prove a great deal about them. If they do not expressly mention them, but prove attributes which are their results or definitions. It is not true that they tell us nothing about them. The chief forms of beauty are order and symmetry and definiteness, which the mathematical sciences demonstrate in a special degree. Nigermachian Ethics One swallow does not make a summer. Neither does one fine day. Similarly, one day or brief time of happiness does not make a person entirely happy. Without friends, no one would want to live. Even if he had all other goods. It is not always the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen. For the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. Politics. Men is by nature a social animal. An individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life or is so self-sufficient as not to need to, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a beast or a god. For man, when perfected, is the best of the animals. But, when separated from law and justice, he is the worst of all. Since armed injustice is the more dangerous. And he is equipped at birth with the arms of intelligence and with moral qualities which he may use for the worst ends. Wherefore, if he have not virtue. He is the most unholy and the most savage of animals. And the most full of lust and gluttony. But justice is the bond of men in states. And the administration of justice which is the determination of what is just, is the principle of order in political society, and poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. Rhetoric. It is absurd to hold that a man ought to be ashamed of being unable to defend himself with his limbs, but not of being unable to defend himself with speech and reason. When the use of reason is more distinctive of a human being than the use of his limbs, the young have exalted notions, because they have not been humbled by life or learned its necessary limitations. Moreover, their hopeful disposition makes them think themselves equal to great things. And that means having exalted notions. They would always rather do noble deeds than useful ones. Their lives are regulated more by moral feeling than by reasoning. All their mistakes are in the direction of doing things excessively and vehemently. They overdo everything. They love too much. Hate too much. And the same with everything else. It is simplicity that makes the uneducated more effective than the educated when addressing popular audiences. Poetics. A tragedy, then, is the imitation of an action that is serious and also, as having magnitude, complete in itself. In language, not in a narrative form. With incidents arousing pity and fear. Wherewith to accomplish its catharsis of such emotions. Poetry is finer and more philosophical than history. For poetry expresses the universal. And history only the particular. Poetry demands a man with a special gift for it or else one with a touch of madness in him. But the greatest thing by far is to have a command of metaphor. This alone cannot be imparted by another. It is the mark of genius. For to make good metaphors implies a knife for resemblances. Euclid. Elements. The whole is greater than the part. There is no royal road to geometry. If a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side less than two right angles, the two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side, on which are the angles less than the two right angles. A unit is that, by virtue of which, each of the things that exist is called one. 
a number is a multiple composed of units. Magnitudes are said to be in the same ratio. The first to the second and the third to the fourth. When, if any equimultiples whatever be taken of the first and third. And any equimultiples whatever of the second and the fourth. The former equimultiples alike exceed, are alike equal to, or alike fall short of, the latter equimultiples respectively taken in corresponding order. The laws of nature are but the mathematical thoughts of God.